Oh my god, my train is not delayed. I don't believe it. Hey, the fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World. Today we're in Bamberg, Germany, getting ready to take the train. And yes, my train's on time. And what I want to give you today are the don'ts of taking the trains in Germany. And sadly, I think it's important I talk about this don't first, and that is don't be surprised if your train is late when you're here in Germany. Now, here's the thing. The Deutsche Bahn has a history of being probably the best train system in Europe, but lately it's had some issues with on timeliness. They're trying to get better. I'll give that to them. But I would say is don't be surprised if your train is a little bit delayed, let's say. And uh, if you have another thing, if you got close connections, I would say this. When you plan your voyages, don't have tight connections. You know the ones are like 10 minutes, 11 minutes, because one delay because of construction or something can really knock it back. Just five minutes here, five minutes there, it adds on, and you can miss those connections. So if you're going to be doing a lot of connections to get places, that can cause some issues. That's why I got to tell you, um, if you can, don't do connections. Try to get the direct train. Like here in Bamberg, there's actually a direct train to Munich. It doesn't go all the time, but there is a direct ICE train that goes so that I can get here without having to switch in Nuremberg. Now, if I want to go via Nuremberg, this train's like every half an hour from Munich to Nuremberg, no big deal. Same thing from Nuremberg to Bamberg. It's pretty close. It's no big deal. But if I've got my luggage, do I want to switch it around? That, that can be troublesome. And speaking of luggage, I got to tell you this. Don't overpack when you're coming on the trains in Germany. Not because they don't have good overhead bins. They do. But the thing is, it's just the lack of space that sometimes that happens because I got to tell you this. Don't be surprised if there's not a lot of room on the train when you get there, especially if you're using some of those regional trains like the REs, Regional Expresses, or Interregios, Interregional trains, because those are more commuter trains. So a lot of people might be there in the morning time or in the afternoon time coming back from work during rush hour. So be aware of that. Now, obviously, a big don't I have for you is don't try to take the train without a ticket because no one's going to check your ticket before you get on the train. But the thing is, when you're on the train, people do come by. And I can't tell you how many tourists just, oh, can I just buy the ticket on the train? Well, you're probably going to get a fine for that, okay? And the fines are not a joke here when you're on the train. So don't forget to pick up a ticket before you go. And I, I, you know, I'll talk about the online ticketing and, and the app and all kinds of things like that. But honestly, don't forget to get a ticket because it's kind of important. Now, another don't is when you're getting ready to get to your destination, don't wait until the train stops to get your things down and go to the door because don't think the Germans will let you off. It is like a bum rush to get on the train as soon as possible. So it's like people are getting on and off at the same time. German line culture is just a very odd thing. And when it comes to public transportation and the trains, they're coming on if there's nobody at that door. So if you're still in the train getting your stuff down, you might not be able to get off. Okay, so if you're taking like a regional train like this, it's usually not a problem. But those ICEs that only have maybe a two or three minute stop, you might get stuck and end up in the next city. So do be aware of that. So get your stuff ready because they'll announce, oh, in Vinegar Minuten, no, I can be a, in a few minutes, we'll be getting to, they'll name your town like, ah, I know we're supposed to get there. Get your stuff down, start heading towards where the exit is. And then when you get there, you can get out. Oh, also, don't forget, you might need to push a button to get the door to open because I've seen some tourists just standing there going, why isn't it open? Why is everybody else out? Because there's a little button you should push there to open the door. Okay, so you have that. Ah, uh, yes, and there's the toilet situation on the train. One thing I got to tell you, don't pass up going to the bathroom before you get on the train. I mean, sometimes they're clean and it's okay, but sometimes they're not so much, but the bathrooms and the stations are clean, okay? But I got to tell you this, don't forget to have some coins because you probably have to pay to use the bathroom in the stations, but they are clean, so that's very nice. But uh, yeah, because you don't really want to have a toilet experience when you're in the train in Germany. Now, another don't I have for you is don't forget to grab some snacks, because if you're going to be on the train for a while, you're going to want something to eat. And those ICE, the fancy trains, yes, they do have the restaurant car or the little imbus that's on there so you can get some snacks. But the regional trains, they usually don't have much on there or anything at all. I mean, I've seen a few like little vending machines, but in general, you might be out of luck. So don't forget to grab some snacks either in the station or there might be vending machines to take coins or card actually on the platform. So that could be something there. But please don't bring the stinky snacks because, ooh, that's gross. And and don't miss your train because they will not wait for you. Even if you are running down, you're saying, wait, wait, wait. They're going to leave without you. Now, another don't I have for you is if you're looking to see when trains are going to go places or when they're going to arrive at different destinations, 
don't forget to check the FOD plan, uh, the, the traveling plan here. Now remember, if you're looking for OBFOD, don't forget OBFOD is departure, okay? So the yellow ones, that is departure. The white ones are the arrivals, Adenkund, okay? But what's cool is you could look on here and see when all the trains are going to go, so you know what track it's going to be on, you know where it's going to stop, and so that can be helpful if you're not sure. Like, I want to go to Coburg, but which train do I need to take? You can look on here and it's going to be helpful. And yes, don't forget to check the, the boards to see if the train line changed, but 90% of the time, what says on here is what you're going to get, so you can head over to your track and have everything there. Oh yeah, and I got to tell you this, on busy weekends, don't forget to get reservations so you have a seat, okay? It's very important to have, and if you do have any issues, don't forget to talk to the bomb people. They're very, very friendly, but I think one thing I need to tell you is about the don'ts for being inside the train, so uh, let's talk about that. Now let's talk about the don'ts you have inside the train, because honestly, it would be rude of me to film this inside the train, because the biggest don't I have for you when you're in the train in Germany is don't be loud. The Germans like it they like it still. They like it calm and quiet on the trains, whether they're doing work, listening to their headphones, whatever. So loudness, not not cool on the German trains, okay? And if people are loud, don't be surprised if someone goes, hello, and gets their attention to get them to quiet down. Now, when you're on the train here in Germany, it is a good idea. Don't forget to get seat reservations because they don't have a limited number of tickets on the train. So literally, there can be more people on the train than there actually are places to sit. So it is a good idea to get seat reservations and don't think the seat reservations are expensive. It's literally like five euros maybe to get a seat to make your life so much easier. Now, if you do get your seat reservations, I gotta tell you this, don't be surprised if you have to ask somebody to move. And also don't be surprised if that person asks you to prove, well, show me on the, the Deutsche Bahn you know, app, let me see your seat reservations so I know you have the right thing. Cause Germans can be a little bit mm, sticky when that comes around. So do be ready to show it. If they don't move, don't be afraid to go and talk to the conductor. The conductor is actually very helpful. I find the Deutsche Bahn conductors actually pretty nice and insightful and they'll gladly help you out to help them move from their seat to, so they can find something else and you can get your seat reservations. Now the thing is, most people don't get seat reservations and don't worry if you don't have seat reservations, they will still let you on the train because they actually sell more, you know, they sell more tickets than there actually are seats on the train. So don't be surprised on like a Friday night or a Sunday night or during the holidays, if you're literally either one, sitting in the bar car to have a seat or sitting on the floor between the trains, like where the stairs are going down, because yeah, that's, that, that's really a thing here because it does get that packed. Now, if you want to get tickets and you don't want to use the kiosks or go online or anything like that, you can go to the Rise of Central. Inside, the people, they'll sell you the tickets, your ticket reservations, like if you have your Euroil Pass, so you already have your tickets, but you need the reservations, you go in there and get them. People are very friendly, very helpful, so they'll be able to hook you up, but don't feel you have to go there to buy your tickets because you can use these ticket automats, and they're all over German. They're very simple to use. They come in like, like 10 languages, so if you don't speak German, it's okay. You can choose your language, and it'll help out there. They take... A lot of times it takes cash, credit cards, so you can pay that way. Hey, even this one takes coins, so you can get your tickets here. And so that can be a little bit easier and faster, especially when there's a long line. Because the Rise of Centrum, I got to tell you, those lines can take a while. Another thing that's cool is if you're the train station here in Germany, don't forget, the shops are open on Sundays in the train station. Around Germany, all the shops close on Sunday, except at the train station. So this can be your little, like, help, I have no food, and it's Sunday, or I have I got to buy, I got to get a souvenir or something. Train station hook, yeah. Now also when you're taking the train, I gotta tell you this, um, don't pack too much. Now, the reason why I say that is because there's usually not a lot of space like on the ground for you to put your luggage. You gotta put your luggage up above the seats and those can get very full. But I will give Germany this, on the ICE, the IC trains, the nicer ones, there's usually plenty of luggage space, but you've gotta lift it up and put it up there. So don't pack heavy and don't have it loose because things roll around. I had a friend of mine, no joke, watermelon rolled off the, the overhang thing and hit her in the head. I thought she was going to die. Okay, so Uli, I'm glad you survived, all right? But these are things you got to worry about. I mean, and honestly, you don't have to worry too much on the train. It's a very safe experience when you are on there. But I think some other don'ts you need to know. One, don't put your bags on the seat next to you. You may not want somebody to sit there but they're going to sit there because they're going to notice that there's nobody, no sea reservation. And they'll ask, is das hier fly? Is it free here? And you got to let them have that. So it's better to have your stuff up and out of the way than have to do it later when there's no space above. Oh, 
Also, if you don't have the seat reservation and you get on the train, don't forget to look above the seats and see if there is a reserved spot. And you might see a sign that says, oh, this is reserved from Munich to Berlin. Or maybe it's only from Bomberg to Nuremberg it's reserved. So you can kind of plan out which seats are available when, so you can do that. But realize if it does have that reservation up there, someone probably is gonna come for that seat. Now I know I keep going into the seat reservations, but I think it's also important to realize some trains don't have seat reservations. So if you're like in a regional express or a regional bond, like a regional train, those a lot of times don't have any seat reservations. So there's really nothing you can do about that. And if you're gonna be taking a regional train to get to a city, don't expect a lot of luggage space on those regional trains. And I guess that leads into this. Um, don't think that every train in Germany is the same train. And also don't think every ticket works for every train in Germany. Because if you buy a ticket and you look online, whether you're on the app or you're looking in the kiosk or wherever, and you see, oh, there's a train to Munich for, for 50 euros and another one for 150 euros. I'll take the 50 euro one. You wanna make sure you look and see what type of train it is because the one might be the IC that's fast and gets you there in an hour and a half. The other one might be the regional express that takes four hours to get there. So it's really important to kind of think about that because don't just look at the departure time. Look at the departure and arrival time because you might see that one train leaves later but actually gets in sooner because of that. So just be thinking. Now let's talk about some of the don'ts when it comes to tickets. And one of the biggest thing is don't wait to buy your tickets here in Germany because the earlier you buy them, the cheaper it can be. I mean, we're talking significant price differences. Like you could take a first class if you book it way ahead versus booking it the day of. So that's one thing, but also don't think that all tickets are the same. So in Germany, there's two kinds of tickets you'll see. You'll see what are called a spa price ticket and a flex price ticket. So the spa price ticket, it means save ticket. So that's your cheapest ticket. But the thing is, don't forget, you could only take the train that that spa price is for. So you have to do that. Where if you take the flex price ticket, that one does cost more, but you have more variety. So you maybe wanna buy the ticket to go from Bomberg to Munich, but you don't really know what time you wanna leave Bomberg because it's so beautiful. So maybe you do the flex price ticket so you can go any time of the day. But if I know, hey, we need to get back to Munich because I got a dinner reservation, so I want to take the noon train back. I can book that with the spa price and save even more money because I know I'm going to stay on that one, okay? And the thing is, you know, a lot of places you just buy your one ticket for one trip and that's it. But I think another don't I have for you is don't forget about the passes they have here in Germany. There's like Landes tickets or like state tickets, so you can travel anywhere in a state on those regional trains, regional expresses kind of stuff. Interregios on those for one set price. And sometimes it's for a group of people. And it can be very economical, especially if you're doing day trips. We used to get the Bayern ticket all the time and just take it to do all these fantastic day trips from Munich, just taking the regional trains because it wasn't that far away. So we could take them and it didn't make a big difference. Like if you look at the ICE versus the regional bond and you're going from Berlin to Munich, it's gonna be a big time difference, right? But if you're doing those like just within a state, those passes are really great. And you might've heard of the Deutschland ticket, which is the entire Germany ticket where you can take the regional trains. I will say, don't think that's meant for tourists because it's a subscription model. So you can either pay for the whole year up front or they charge you month by month. So it might be better just to buy your regional ticket and do that when you have it. I mean, Germans are really good at giving you good deals. And that's why sometimes you might wanna get the bond card. So the bond card gives you 25% discounts or 50% discounts on train tickets, okay? The thing is that that's more for people that are gonna be staying here for a while, then it'll pay for itself. If you're only here for a week, the bond card probably is not gonna be for you, but it can be good. I know when I lived here in Germany, I always had the bond card to get those discounts. Now for my Eurorail pass holders, don't worry, the Eurorail pass does work on the ICE, but you do need a reservation if you wanna have a seat. If you don't wanna worry about a seat, you just wanna sit wherever and you know cross your fingers, you can just get on with your Eurorail pass, you'll be okay. But don't forget to have it validated before you begin. Oh, and a lot of people forget that the S-Bahn, the S-Bahn trains around the cities, like in Munich and Berlin, don't forget, that's actually part of the Deutsche Bahn. That's part of the train system here. So if you have a train ticket to a city, and it usually says to the city itself, then you could actually take your S-Bahn out to wherever you need to go. Not the U-Bahn, they don't work on the subway, they don't work on the, the buses and stuff, but on the S-Bahn, it's part of, the, a part of the train system. So that could be a little helpful help Helpful tip, I know for me, when I bought my tickets from the Munich airport and I was going down to Innsbruck, I just bought it from the airport to Innsbruck and it was part of the ticket, the S-Bahn S8, 
from the, tr the airport to the Munich Central Station, and then my train ticket from Munich Central Station down to Innsbruck, so that could be very helpful to know. And I'll be honest with you, if you're looking to book tickets for Germany or actually anywhere in Europe, don't skip out on Bond.de. That is the Deutsche Bahn's website. They probably have the best timetable system any of any train system in Europe. I mean, I remember I was in Denmark and they were looking at Bond.de to tell us the train times in other countries. I mean, it's super helpful and you can use that and pick the days and times you're looking to travel, like month, you know, a few months ahead, and you can see when are my train options, which is really cool. And the thing is, you can also buy your tickets in Germany through there as well, which is nice. And if you're going to be traveling within Germany and just Germany, you can actually get the, the Deutsche Bahn app for your phone. Very helpful to have it all right there on your phone. You just show that, they check it on the train, and you're good to go. Hey, also, don't forget, not every single city's train station has Hauptbahnhof as its main station. Here in Bamberg, yes, it's the Hamburg Hauptbahnhof. But if you go to Berlin, there's the Hauptbahnhof, there's the Ostbahnhof, there's the Zobahnhof. There's multiple train stations, okay? So you want to make sure you know which train station you need to get in on and when you need to get out of. And especially if you're going to be transferring within a big city, you might find that not the main train station, but one of the outer train stations might be easier to catch your connection than this main one. So don't forget to check which train station you actually need to be at, what that name actually is. Now, when you're looking to leave the train station and go to your hotel or go other places around the city, uh, one thing I would say is don't take random rides from people inside. You don't have that as often anymore, people asking tourists, but some of the bigger tourist areas, people might come by like, oh, you want an Uber or a Lyft, you know? Yeah, honestly, go get the. Don't pass up on taking a taxi. The taxis in Germany are pretty honest. Um, I gotta admit, I haven't had any problems with them over the years. There'll be in the Mercedes, there'll be a line outside, and then at least you know you'll get your receipt, you'll get taken where you need to go without getting taken for a ride. So, something to think about. Also, when you're outside the station, sometimes you will see people like guys that will be begging outside, or you'll see kind of like ruffian looking characters with their dogs begging for money or asking for stuff. Don't let those people bother you. Don't give them money. The state takes care of people here in Germany. But just make sure, you know, if you feel uncomfortable, you can walk on the other side. Just just walk by and they'll leave you alone. But I have had a number of tourists over the years mention how those people, the, 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 the kind of younger men with the dogs outside kind of kind of worry them. Don't worry. Just walk past. You'll be okay. Now, these lockers here are a godsend when you're in train stations in Germany. So if you want to do a day trip to take some of these regional trains to go to some of the beautiful towns that are around the big cities you go to, don't think you have to take your luggage with you the whole time. They have these Schließfächer, the lockers that you can use and just put your bags away there. Now, they don't always have them, but some places they do, you can actually check online to see who has them. And that can be helpful there to give you that space to use the lockers and get to enjoy some of those great day trips you have here in Germany. Because the Deutsche Bahn really does a great job of actually showing you the country. I'm like, that's what I gotta say, is don't take my making fun of the Deutsche Bahn as a bad thing. Because honestly, Deutsche Bahn has helped me see so much of this country and really enjoy from the big cities like Munich and Berlin to like and medium sized cities, you know, and smaller cities like here in Bamberg or Regensburg or going to the Hartz Mountains. I mean, the Deutsche Bahn goes all over the place and really, don't be afraid to use it. You don't have to drive around and do the Autobahn. You can take those trains and see the beautiful country that's here. And honestly, don't forget to look out the window when you're on the train because when you're going through and you see those church steeples going by, those small villages when you go by, you're like, my God, Germany really is truly beautiful. And the Deutsche Bahn shows you that. So don't be afraid to take the train to go explore when you're here in Germany. And then I, I got to tell you this one part. Um, don't expect the trains in Germany to be cheap. Even if you can get some of those discounts, you'll notice taking the train in Germany is not a super cheap way to go. That might be why it's a good idea to maybe look at the flight from, you know, Hamburg to Munich instead of taking the train, because I bet you can get a lot cheaper flight than you can get a train going that way, especially if you're looking at time factoring in to go along with the money. That's something to kind of think about. So I do want to keep you late in case your train is actually on time here in Germany. So. What are some of the don'ts that you have for taking the train in Germany? Honestly, I've loved being here. I've loved taking the train for the years I lived here. When I've come here year after year after year, after year after year after year, after year literally it was every year from 96 through 20, you know, till today, except for 2020. I did not make it in 2020, obviously. But I've taken the Deutsche Bahn. It's helped me out. It's actually one of my five love and hates of coming here. It's my love and hate relationship with the Deutsche Bahn. How it lets me see this beautiful country, but also the frustration of misconnections and late trains sometimes. But honestly, I hope this helps you enjoy more of Germany. Let us know some of the don'ts you have for the Deutsche Bahn down below. I wish you all the best. And I'll say tschüss from here in Bamberg, Germany. I got to go catch my train.
Well, it's time to go. I hope you all have a great adventure here in Germany on the trains. If you want to learn more, check us out on our website at wolfsworld.com. And I'll say choose from here in the trains in Germany.